Now that means that drivers are going to have a lot more company out there and they're going to have to take uh, extra precautions on the road. Our Griffin Wright joins us now. He's going to tell us a, a few of those things we need to remember, keep in mind this weekend. Good morning, Griffin. Good morning, Andy. So, so far this year, 110 people have died on Iowa's roadways, and that's higher than any year in the past five years. And speeding is a factor that plays a role in nearly all of these crashes. And with the high number of people that are going to be hitting the roads this weekend, the Iowa State Patrol plans to be out in full force. We try to get that message out there. We're going to be out there in full force. We're going to be out there um, keeping Iowans safe, keeping motorists safe. Uh, but we also want to give the message, we can't do this alone. So we need other people to realize, what are they doing? What are you doing to keep yourself safe and others safe on our roadways? Because at the end of the day, we want to make it home safe, and we know that you want to make it home safe to your families as well. And that is the biggest takeaway here. The Iowa State Patrol and the Iowa DOT are doing everything they can to help Iowans stay safe on the roads, but ultimately the responsibility falls on all of us. Let's look at some of the statistics in Iowa when it comes to fatal crashes. Like I said earlier, so far we have had 110 deaths this year on Iowa's roadways. Around half of those are in rural areas with people driving off the road. In over 30% of fatal crashes, the driver is impaired by drugs or alcohol. Almost half of them weren't wearing a seatbelt. Distracted driving also plays a role in many accidents, but it's more difficult to get official numbers for it. But those last few statistics are things that are in driver's control. And while they may be common sense, drinking responsibly, wearing a seatbelt, and keeping your phone down are incredibly important to staying safe while driving. Another chilling statistic is historically, four people die on Iowa's roadways every Memorial Day weekend. What if somebody said, you know, Griffin, four people in Iowa this, this, this weekend will win a million dollars, right? Or whatever, I don't care. Just We're gonna pick four random people. You'd, you'd be like, whoa, awesome, right? Well, then what if you also say, well, four people in Iowa this weekend are gonna likely die on the highway. I mean, it's like, oh my gosh, I, I could die. You know, you, people don't think that way because again, we get in the car and 99% of the time we get in a car, it's a safe trip. So if you are going to be out on the roads this Memorial Day, make sure that you are watching your speed, you have your phone down and that you're buckling up because it really takes everybody to make sure that we can keep the roads safe. Yeah, really the peak days today and then the Monday as everybody kind of returns home. But yeah, look for that traffic to start to spike today as everybody gets out of town if they're headed out of town. Thanks, Griffin.